Hi there, welcome. This is a really short video to take you through a couple of exercises that will hopefully help alleviate any issues you might have with restless legs or cramp during your pregnancy. A really common condition, both of them, um, can be a number of things from dehydration to your iron levels, um, potential lack in other vitamins, so just making sure you're getting all of those checked and taking your supplements. Um, but often in my um, experience, often it's just actually sort of tiredness, whether that's physical tiredness of doing um, too much kind of physically in the day, maybe too much on your feet, um, or not having enough sleep because of um, being pregnant and all that that brings. So a few exercises that we can do just sitting down or even in bed or in a chair if we're kind of sat um, in the evening um, that hopefully might help alleviate that. So having your arms, um, your legs, sorry, out in front of you, your arms behind you and just try not to slouch, try sitting up and drawing into the tummy behind the bumps. And we're going to pop one finger or one hand gently on one knee. And we're going to just simply circle the ankle. So we're going to go all the way around all the way down and across and up, and maybe getting stretched into the back of that leg there. My hand is on my knee to stop my leg from moving. I want you to really focus in on the joint of the ankle. And we're going to just do about five in one direction, not too fast, and then in the other direction. So really focus, it's actually quite difficult to just focus on the isolation of your ankle joint that it's not your whole leg moving. So really keeping that knee nice and still and just focusing in. So no triangles or diamonds, circles, all the way round, equal on either side. And then we're going to switch over. So our feet do a lot in our pregnancy and even without pregnancy, they are carrying us around everywhere all day and with our pregnancy as it progresses a lot more weight is going through those feet. The relaxing in your body, making all the joints in your body relax, including your feet. So let's do five in one direction and five in the other. I've changed direction now. Um, will really relax uh, even all those ligaments into your feet as well. So thinking obviously about keeping hips and your core as strong as possible and your shoulders. Um, into your back, your ankles and your feet are exactly the same and they're getting loose um, around the joints, around those ligaments and they are doing a lot of work for us. So no wonder um, we like a nice foot rub or we are getting some pain into those feet and ankles. So we mustn't forget about them, okay? So simple ankle circles, um, really nice to do. Another simple exercise is literally just your flex and your point. So you can do this one at a time, maybe point one toe down and flex the other up and then change. So when you're drawing your toes up towards your head, you will potentially, not always, get a stretch into the back of that calf. Try and keep your knee down on the floor. Your heel might lift off the floor here, um, but just stretching into those feet, pushing those feet down, and you might even get cramp here in your feet because they're not used to doing this movement. But the more you introduce them to these different movements, the more you're strengthening, and actually you should soon feel um, a bit better in terms of, um, of cramp doing this exercise. A really nice exercise to do, potentially in the later stages of pregnancy, you're activating a little pump in your calf that will help generate the blood flow around your body. So this is sort of um, mirroring the action of walking. Yeah, so coming up and down. You can do this um, in bed, potentially after birth, if you're resting and you need to kind of keep yourself moving in terms of your blood flow, then this is a really good one to do as well. So ankle circles and pointing and flexing. And you've got some little bit of movement there into the calf, okay? Another good exercise potentially more for restless legs is our zigzag legs, which is a brilliant exercise for pregnancy. So starting with your toes pointing up, roll the toes out, draw the heels um, in and the knees up, just being careful of any pain in the front of the pelvis there. And then turning your knees really far, as far as you can, in, rolling the feet out, drawing up, 
turning those knees in and rolling out. And this is just a lovely exercise to get the synovial fluid going in your hips. And again, the blood flow into those legs and just stretching and mobilizing into those hips and the pelvic region. So turning out and then really turning those legs in, finding that stretch, turn the legs out, drawing up, just keeping the chest nice and high and drawing into the tummy just to keep nice and supported. Rolling out, drawing up and rolling in. And only if you can either keep like this or you can reverse. So you can draw your knees out as far as you can, turn them out and roll them down. Turn them in, roll them up and out. And just let this go and keep your breath flow nice and steady all the way down and in and up and round. Lovely. One more time. And then just give those legs a little shake there. Perfect. So just a few really simple exercises that we can do. If you have a little look um, under the playlist of pregnancy, um, after this video, there's a few more where we're looking at working with a spiky ball or a tennis ball in terms of massage and with a stretchy uh, resistant band in terms of some stretches that we can do to alleviate the same sort of issues as well. So take a look at those as well. And hopefully um, that will help with those issues that might come with cramp or restless legs.